Hey everybody, my name is David and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church. Hey, let's talk about Einstein's theory of relativity. I bet you didn't think I was going there, did you? <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, Einstein's theory of relativity, 1917. Did you know that Einstein's theory of relativity was huge in thinking about how the world was created by God? Did you know that? Like, yeah, like Einstein's theory of relativity actually helps the theological argument that the universe, that the world, the earth, you, were made by God. Did you know that? They teach you that in school? Probably not. Like you're thinking Einstein, isn't that Einstein's like E equals MC squared? That's like all I know about Einstein. All right. Einstein's theory of relativity says that the universe had a beginning. He showed through formula that it's impossible to believe that the universe has always been here in the past and that it will always be here in the future. In fact, he says it has a beginning and it will definitely have an ending. Einstein proved that our universe is either going to expand constantly or collapse. One of the two. So why is that important? Well, because later in the 1920s, uh, observational astronomy began to discover that Einstein was right. They began to come up with evidences for an actual beginning of the universe. That means things like time are not eternal. Space is not eternal. Matter and energy are finite. Those things came into being. So why does this matter? Because now science is becoming a story about how the universe came into being. And what they're discovering is that the universe did not come from nowhere. Life does not begin from non-life. And while there's plenty of origin theories still out there, there's still plenty of creation theories out there, what you will find is if you go down the trail of any one of those, science does not agree. Science does not agree with one over the other. Scientists do not agree with one over the other because none of them work. They're all theories and they're all bad science. They, they, it just doesn't work. So, so the, the discussions continue, right? The discussions continue. Science stands on one side and theology stands on the other side. Or do they? Do they? Or, does, or, do, or perhaps is there a place where science and theology can meet in the middle? Can there be harmony? What does science tell us about God? Or better yet, what does creation tell us about God? We're going to ask those questions this Sunday at Walden Church. We're going to talk about the doctrine of creation. This Sunday, we've got two opportunities for worship. We have a 9.30 service, which is more traditional with hymns and with a choir. And then our second service at 11 o'clock is more contemporary with a worship team. And we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. We want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.